In this video segment for the Dutch Cottage Design, we're going to take a look at creating a custom ceiling. Let's go into the program and take a look. Previous segment, we had created our roof, and it's important to have the roof if you're going to create a shaped ceiling. In this section of the house that has the gable over this section, we're going to go into that room and create a vaulted ceiling. Inside of the floor plan, let's use our back clip cross section camera and just create a slice through this portion of the design. When Chief Architect creates a room, it automatically places a flat ceiling based on the room height you've set up. Now if I split my screen using Shift F6 on the keyboard and we zoom in here a little bit, let's go ahead and the first thing I want to do is remove the ceiling out of the room by opening it up on the structure panel and then removing the ceiling out. You'll notice in the section view on the left hand side of the monitor that the ceiling has now disappeared. In the plan view, I'm going to change my layer set to the ceiling set so it only turns on those layers that I'm interested in. Now using a custom ceiling plane, I'm going to click and drag my ceiling plane. I'm going to first hold down my left mouse button, drag a line over, release, come up to the midpoint of the wall, and click and release. Now that custom ceiling plane came in at the same pitch of the roof. Let's go ahead and open that up and change that pitch to maybe a 6 and 12 and you'll be able to see on the left hand side of the monitor exactly what happened to the ceiling pitch. You can now do the same thing and create that on the other side of the room. Now for the purpose of this video I want to create a compound curve so let's pull this roof back and let's set the dimension to be sorry the ceiling plane back to five feet and then I'm going to change the pitch back to zero which is going to create a flat ceiling. Notice that the same elevation height is 109 and an eighth as we had earlier for the room dialog. Now that I have a flat ceiling plane I'm going to create a copy of that ceiling using the copy tool and let's pull a copy out we'll snap it into place and then I'm going to adjust this to the midpoint of the room again we'll just pull that until it snaps to the midpoint of the room open it up and now I'm going to adjust the pitch to 6 and 12. Now we have plenty of room for insulation in here let's select both ceiling planes and I'm going to use the copy which is in the lower left hand menu and reflect about the center of the structure. That way I don't have to draw those ceiling planes again. You can see in the cross section view on your left hand side our ceiling structure. Now one of the nice things about Chief Architect if I use a truss in here let's go ahead and just place a truss across here is it's automatically going to fill the cavity of the roof and the ceiling platforms. Now let's suppose that we take this ceiling here and let's go ahead and adjust this ceiling pitch down to maybe a 3 and 12. You can see the update. You do have to open up the truss and force the rebuild once you do that it will then adapt to that envelope. The other thing you can also do, let's suppose that we take this ceiling, these two ceiling planes, just like we did on the garage over the roof, let's go ahead and curve the ceiling, even though it says curved roof, it is a ceiling. At the ridge, we'll set it at zero. You'll be able to see a barrel vault in there. And then again, if you select the roof truss, let's go ahead and force the rebuild. It will also curve and form that portion of the ceiling in between the envelope of the roof. So what we've done is we had opened up the room, we removed the ceiling out of the room, we used a custom ceiling plane, we drew in our vault, and then we drew in a compound vault, and then we also curved the ceiling. You can see the way the room looks in 3D. Now in the next video segment, we're gonna take a look at doing our truss framing and also our stick framing.